So I'm super excited because today I did something that I always wished that I could do. I've always loved how on Linux you have, you know, you get a copy of Debian or, or Ubuntu or whatever distro you like, you put it onto a machine and it just runs. And it always bothered me that Android wasn't like that. You had to get these custom ROMs for each device and different ROM images don't work on other devices and it didn't make sense to me because I'm thinking okay you have a custom uh, maybe boot uh, partition uh, but then you have your system partition where Android is and you might think oh well you need the, the drivers but the thing is your drivers on Android are all in different partitions there's a partition for the Bluetooth drivers there's a partition for the other radio drivers everything's on different partitions so you would think you'd be able to just replace that system partition with whatever distribution or ROM that you want turns out you can and I remember reading about this a while ago uh, starting back in I think 2019 Google was trying to make it more so Android was more like that and if it was treble supported so pretty much all devices I think it said from Android 9 on uh, should be treble supported and 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 that's awesome so basically you can get a very basic generic Android image and put it on almost any device and it should just work and this is great because like I, I like Motorola devices. Motorola allows you to unlock the bootloader. If you unlock the bootloader, you can do whatever you want, include installing a custom ROM. But like, I like Lineage OS. Thing is, some Motorola devices, they don't make it. And you might have a similar device, but that's not going to work on this device. Well, and you can make your own Lineage. Thing is, compiling your, or building your own uh, custom ROM you have to download somewhere between 100 and 300 gigs worth of files and then it takes like all day I guess to compile. I, I've never done it because I just, I'm, I, it got me at download 100 gigs worth of files. I am done. I am not doing this. Um, but uh, recently I read about it. I read about it a couple weeks ago then sort of forgot about it and then today I went back to it. GSI. GSI is um, generic system image for Android and there's different versions of it. In fact, Lineage OS has a GSI. So basically it's a very generic version of Android of, and you can get the, the Lineage Android, Lineage OS Android, and put it on your device. And I, I just did that with my device this morning and it worked. It took me a little while to figure out, but now I know how to do it. Almost any device, even if the custom ROM isn't made for it, you should be able to get one of these generic images and install it. And you'll have little things. So far, my fingerprint scanner worked, the camera worked. Uh, the only thing is, um, my uh, camera that faces me, the front-facing camera, uh, is up on the tile bar and like it's covering up some of the text. Uh, which is something that I could probably change. But you'll have little things like that if the camera's in a different position on the, and you have one of the ones where the camera is in the screen, it, the, the, since it's a generic OS, it doesn't know that that's where the camera is, so the text might be behind it. You have little things like that. But I love this concept of one image fits all. And it's super easy to do. In fact, just test it out. So far today, I flashed the stock ROM, then flashed the, the Lineage ROM, uh, the Lineage GSI ROM. Back and forth, uh, I've probably done it like three or four times just to make sure I, I have all the steps written down. And uh, I plan on doing a video for you guys like that. But this is awesome. This is awesome. This is the way it should be. You shouldn't need, I mean, if you want a custom ROM that's tailored to your device, yeah, that's great. But if it's not, it's nice to have just a generic ROM that you can put in and then customize. So like example, one of the videos I watched where someone was talking about this, he put it on his device and uh, the icons looked a little small because it doesn't know out of the box you know, how big his screen is. He just went into the developer settings and changed the resolution for his icons and made them bigger. Uh, but, and, and then I had the issue where the camera's over part of the notification bar there. Uh, this is nothing. I don't care about little things like that if I can just have one image that works on all my devices. Um, so I'm excited about this. I'm going to be doing some videos on this, at least with the devices I have. Hopefully that will help you. Because it took me a little while because my phone has a super partition on it, which is one partition that has other partitions in it. And the instructions I were watching wasn't working. I was getting a, uh, that the, the system image wasn't large enough. The, the system partition wasn't large enough for the image. I was using and I tried a few different things uh, in fast boot and twerp to resize them that didn't work because other de older devices did it differently but I finally figured it out and I'm gonna be doing a video on that but I'm just so excited that I wanted to share that with you uh, so I'm gonna be doing 
Uh, again, a lot of Android videos coming up, and I'm still going to be doing some desktop videos. I'm going to alternate back and forth, but look forward to seeing a video on uh, GSIs and like getting Lineage running on pretty much any uh, device made in the last four years, five years or so, uh, should work. So, And I'll show you how to check that. Anyway, this is just a little update talking about that so you know what's coming up. I hope you're excited because I'm definitely excited. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. As always, have a great day.